hello good dear viewers in this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this very interesting simple looking equation x to the power of 6 equal to 1 it is simple to the eyes but it is not that simple this is a six degree equation therefore we expect six different solutions let's get started if you are new here consider subscribing press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever i upload a new content um, x to the power of 6 can be expressed as x to the power of 3 also raised to the power of 2 according to one of the laws of indices. So we can write it as x to the power of 3 but also raised to the power of 2. 3 times 2 is 6. And we can take 1 inside, right? It becomes negative 1 and this is equal to 0. And we know that one can also be expressed as one squared so we have transformed the equation entirely this is difference of two squares uh, if you have a squared minus b squared this is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b so we are going to apply the same principle for which a is x to the power of 3 and b is 1 so this is x to the power of 3 minus 1 multiplied by x to the power of 3 plus 1 this is still equal to 0 now we have difference of two cubes and sum of two cubes because 1 is also the same thing as 1 to the power of 3 so this is difference of two cubes this is 1 to the power of 3 so sum of two cubes so if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this is the same thing as a minus b multiplied by a squared uh, plus a b plus b squared and for a plus is a cubed plus b cubed this is equal to a plus b multiplied by a squared minus a B plus B squared so for this we are going to apply this and this we apply this so let's start with this one this is the same thing as X minus 1 right that is a minus B multiplied by X squared plus a times B X times 1 that is X then plus B squared which is 1 we are done with the first factor. Then moving to the second one, we have x plus 1, that is a plus b, x plus 1, multiplied by x squared, the minus x times 1, that is x, then 1 squared is 1. So I can clean the whole of that. The whole of this equals 0. Now we have four factors multiplying one another and the result is zero it implies either this equal to zero this equal to zero this or that so let me start with the first two which are linear um, if we have x minus one equal to zero it implies that x equals what one so we have first solution here and if x plus one is equal to zero it implies that x equals negative 1 second solution now we have quadratic equations let me start with the first one we have x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0 let me solve this by completing the square method um, we can take x here half of um, the coefficient of x which is 1 half of it it's 1 over 2 whole squared right this is equal to if this crosses over it becomes negative one but you have to add square of one over two which is one over four all right let me continue here um four times negative one is negative four plus one is negative three over four so the whole of this um x plus 1 over 2 whole squared is equal to negative 3 divided by 4 we can take square root of both sides we have x 
plus 1 over 2 equals plus or minus the square root of negative 3 divided by 4. Square root of negative 3 is square root of 3i. So this is equal to plus or minus square root of 3i divided by square root of 4 is 2. This is x plus 1 over 2. So if you take this one to the other side, it becomes negative 1 over 2 plus or minus square root of 3i divided by 2. So we have two other solutions here. x is either equal to minus 1 plus that, minus 1 plus root of 3i divided by 2, or x equals minus 1 minus root of 3i divide by 2. So, so far we have how many solutions? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, of 10, the 5th and the 6th solutions, we are going to solve this equation. x squared minus x plus 1 equals 0. But I would like to tell you that the only difference between these and these two solutions is this negative 1 here. If you solve this one, you're going to get positive 1 right here because from here you can see that the only difference between the coefficients of x is negative or positive. We solve this one, we got the negative version. If you solve this one, you're going to get the positive version. So here x would be uh, 1 plus root of 3i divided by 2 and x equal to 1 minus root of 3i divided by 2. So we have 6 solutions. 1, 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, because the degree is 6. Simple.